What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. Stardew Valley Update 1.5 hit yesterday, and with it comes a whole new playable area, the Ginger Island. Now you can, of course, create a remote little farm, including a farmhouse out here at Ginger Island, and today we're going to get that unlocked. Let's jump right in. Now when you first arrive to the island, after exploring around in your only available routes, you're going to find out that this island is ruled by a massive flock of parrots. There are parrots everywhere, and these parrots are demanding golden walnuts. Now the golden walnut is the currency here on Ginger Island, and you're going to need a whole lot of it. So if you see one laying, go pick it up, you need them all get as many golden walnuts as you can. Now, in various places throughout the island, you're going to see these parrots perched asking for walnuts. Now, if you deliver the agreed upon amount of walnuts to that area, it's going to unlock that specific area. And getting to your remote farmhouse on the tropical island is no different. You're going to talk to this parrot over here and give up the walnuts, and that is going to unlock access to the property. Now, once you get over to the property, of course, there's going to be more parrots involved demanding more walnuts. However, you can get this thing up and going. Uh, it's a little bit grindy, not going to lie. You're going to need a ton of these walnuts, but you can get yourself going remotely with a place to sleep, a really spacious home where you could do lots of things. And more importantly... A, a tropical island where you can grow things year round, no seasons. It's like having a remote greenhouse out here in a tropical paradise. Now, as I mentioned, the golden walnuts are the primary currency out here on the island, and they are going to be available from basically everything you do uh, from killing monsters to digging dirt to fishing to mining. Everything you do is going to give you the opportunity to collect these golden walnuts. Now, I tried a couple of different techniques to see which ways I could get them the quicker. I did have one really, really lucky fishing day where I was just getting back-to-back -back golden walnuts really, really consistently. However, I have to say, just get to the mines. Uh, I personally, the combat aspect of Stardew is not my particular favorite part i really like the farming and the rpg elements and development however if you get down to the mines it's only 10 floors you can go through it really quick it's going to reset every day for you and you're still going to have plenty of time for foraging for fishing uh, to get more and more of the golden walnuts you're going to want to get down to the bottom floor of the mines anyway to access the forge that's out there uh, there will be a separate video coming all about the forge. However, mines, forage, and fishing. That is the three I chose and was able to collect these golden walnuts relatively quickly. So hopefully this helps you all out. Go get your tropical farm. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. I'm throwing ancient fruit in mine just to let it grow year-round and keep on harvesting it over and over again. But good stuff to be had in Stardew Valley Update 1.5. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time around. Take it easy.